Good morning, folks. We're going to talk about a number of things today, but only one will resonate throughout the world of science and change it forever. Are you awake now? Good. Now have some patience as we begin at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last 24 hours on our star and 193 angstroms of light. The dark corona holes flanked by bright active regions where the sunspots appear to have been trying to flare. We are indeed noticing an uptick in X-ray emission from the star on a slow trend, and looking at the sunspots, we spot the one that has fallen apart while facing Earth and instead shift focus incoming to the limb where north and south, we've got sunspots. The larger one on the north has a baseline of about C1 flare emission, so as it turns in, its small activity is bumping up the X-ray flux. Interestingly though, one of the eruptions did come from the departing sunspot, happened as its last companion umbra disappeared. The good news is that nothing about the event was scary or likely to overcome the coronal hole stream already on its way to Earth, but a small CME was absolutely ejected and we cannot analyze it properly because for the hundredth time in a row, something interesting to see on coronagraphs is met with missing images, another eight hour jump. Luckily, as I said, the event was not worth worrying about. Here is your Earth facing coronal hole. Its IMF and kinetic alpha waves are already an influence on our planet. Solar wind due in about two more days. Now, Albuquerque, Sandia Labs, the Z Machine, the most powerful X-ray lab on Earth, has struck a crippling blow to more than 20 years of black hole science. Turns out, the way we model the energetic releases isn't going to work, and they expressly state that 20 years of black hole science must change. They offer an amazing clue as to the problem as well, cosmic plasma, saying it is too little understood and that we're just making guesses when we use satellites to model them, which is why hands-on experiments are so vital. And since they are talking about plasma in space, a little reminder for my neighbors here in the New Valley of the Sun. Alfin had exceptionally strong words about using certain physics with space plasma. You guys have that book down at the lab, right? Moving on, because the next time somebody looks at a number of the galactic gravity problems that force them to look for things like dark energy, they should instead look at large-scale, rotationally driven sphere magnetic systems of the galaxy. We live in a magnetic universe. Last but not least, ESA put out an animation on water stress, supply versus demand over time. Solid little work linked for you below along with the first two stories. Quick note for those making earthquake risk maps at quakewatch.net, seems top question can be answered with a double click. The last dot of your alert zone, make it a double click. After that, you can adjust the watch period, intensity, certainty, etc. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, you've got a new Deeper Look episode posted last night. That's number 66 on the year. Right now, we've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.